What's going on, everybody? Doc here, Average Gamer Guys. It's back again. Free to play. Last standard. Let's get into it. We got a good one here for you today. Some more just kind of things that we want to get done. But these episodes are important to continue our grind and to continue, hopefully, our progression. So we've been doing a lot of stuff in the background. We've had some really good steps. We just shared probably, I think, in the most recent video with some settlement updates which was awesome. We got some expedition progress. We got some settlement update. Go check that video out if you haven't already. We have a free to play last day on earth playlist. We have a regular last day on earth playlist too. And the wasteland survival guide. All things you should go give a look see. But we're here today to do a few things. So we're uh, a <clears throat> handful of days into the season. We're sitting at level 35. Not bad, not bad. Um, we got some events done. We've been doing wreck ship, which has been okay for us. This go around rewards for this were actually pretty good. This will probably be over by the time you see this. This might still be up or it may have just ended Blackport PD. I'm going to try to do two things today. I'm going to stand our waves. I want to get these 2000 season points and, uh, just see if we can pick up some cards in, uh, in the, uh, you know, the little arena area, which is going to be pretty good. I'm not going to go any farther than that. I really don't have the supplies to be able to do this yet. This is something that we're working on. But I will try to get the 10 waves done because I think we can do it with just mostly melee weapons and probably a couple of guns. We have some big hunt that is going on right now. You know I'm a big fan of this. But uh, we'll do that off recording. After we get done with Blackport PD here, we will see how many supplies we have left. And I'd like to go and try to get a transport hub run in and mostly complete. I don't know if we'll get all the way there, but try to clear that. And uh, we may have to go back and forth for some resources to get that done. But I do want to try to grab that. I want to try as best we can. Hopefully we get a good crate and get some progression with that. So we have our drone with us. We have some other supplies. We're pretty well locked and loaded for this one. I'm actually really excited about this. I'm also going to try to get and trade in some sergeant cards for green cards. And uh, I have a green card in my inventory as well. So we'll try to use both here to get this up and running. So this is the first time actually doing any waves in Blackport PD for us. So that's the other reason I kind of wanted to share this because I thought that would be kind of fun to be able to go and do. And uh, we're gonna clear this. We're gonna work through it. Hopefully the new season is treating you well. Again, we're doing some advanced recording here at least a few days early, not super, super crazy early, uh, but a few days early. And I am hopeful, I don't know, I feel like the updates not too far away. It might be out by the time this goes up. That's just one of those things with updates. You know, sometimes the stuff happens. We also did bring 10. We've been stocking up our uh, our cell keys. I'm just going to open those up just for fun. I should also showcase, I may not have said this already. Oop, wrong button. Oop, wrong button. That uh, we now have all of the skills of burglars. So we can open all the things which I'm really excited about. We're not getting locked behind anything anymore, which I am just absolutely ecstatic. Look at this. We got a grenade and some SWAT boots. That is actually really dope. That's a good... That's probably one of the better crates, chests, whatever you want to call it, in, in all of the police station. We should pick up some cards here, though. Be pretty good. I also need to swap in, drop our... What do you call it? Uh, self-healing. We need to get self-healing on as a skill that powered up. But yeah, I've, uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to see what's going to bring. New update, new stuff. We covered the video with the most recent trailer. I feel like when the trailer comes out, it's usually pretty close. That's at least been my experience. Don't hold me to any of these things. I don't have any inside information. I don't know. But uh, there's a chance that it's either out or it's on its way. It's going to be very soon. They've been doing a lot of maintenance. I, I would expect one more maintenance period, but they usually do some maintenance a couple of times before a big update pops up. All right, we got some cards. We got some meds. This is pretty, you know, this, is, this place is pretty good. This, uh, I really do feel like, I, I think this place is a little too far away for the energy burn, but it is really good to get in here and knock this out. We might even be able to get three green cards out of this if we get lucky here need a couple of cards from from the waves dodge it boom good got another one here beautiful we're moving we're moving and shaking and i know i could be wall tricking these guys and saving the blah 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 
again use it if you need to use it if you don't have the supplies do it by all means you don't need to that's okay too use your stuff how you want springs are good i really do like this location i, I really think the rewards are pretty solid they're pretty solid and it's not too bad to clear either it's really not which is nice you don't need a ton don't need a ton of stuff which is always good a saw blade mace and on its last leg here easy peasy we have a much upgraded pistol by the way we got the red dot on mount complete i didn't share i didn't show that i don't think as of yet um we were able to complete that with some other things that we were doing and uh getting some other stuff complete the season helped us that was a, a really big that's a big milestone for us i'm not gonna lie um having the capability to slow zombies down is huge it's going to be extra huge when we get to things like bunker bravo when that comes around for the season i'm actually really excited for this account for the season because i think we're going to be able to make some big moves here and get quite a bit of stuff done i'm i'm actually like pretty pretty stoked about it i'm not gonna lie my most hated zombie in the game is this guy all right here i hate these guys i cannot even begin to describe to you how much i hate them because of that right there why why did you put your shield up i know i was shooting you in the face you're not that intelligent of a zombie honestly look at you you got gimp leg okay i get the shields heavy but like come on Put the shield down. Fight me like a man. As I say that, when I didn't even get hit. <laughs> didn't even get close to him. Oh, boy. Ooh, diary. Not going to use that. We are getting close. We're at 184. I'm in the way. You can't see it. And I apologize for that. But we are at level 184. One thing that I have neglected that I did want, I did want to do sooner... But I have just kind of put off is uh, opening up for raids. Um, that's something that I still have to prep for. I'm actually kind of really trying to work on that. Like quite a bit, actually. Trying to get prepped up for that. Um, the base. I like that I made my base as big as I did. Because it gives us a lot of room for expansion and putting things down. And I don't have to rebuild something and then rebuild it and then rebuild it. I can just, I built the one base and it'll serve us. It's taken me a little bit to get the supplies I needed and I've gotten distracted with other things I want to do. Um, so I'm like very slowly putting up walls. We stopped farming. We were on a good run of farming uh, oak zones for like a couple of days. And then I got the boat complete. And ever since I've had the boat complete, all I want to do is farm cement. <laughs> Uh, sand so I can farm cement and glass so I can get the watchtower built. It's 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 a good it is honestly it's a good problem to have, but I'm not even taking my own advice, which is to stick with one upgrade and I need to get back to upgrading the base. It's just where I'm at. So we're trying, we're trying. And I I just want to make the base to um, I want to make the base relatively safe and foolproof to be able to get into a string of raids. That's the other thing that I'm, I'm going to say concerned. I don't know. That's not the right word because I'm not concerned about it. But what I don't want to do is be able to get the first raid and then be stuck in a spot where um, I, I can't get it on a streak because revenge raids are going to be important to us. I have enough c4 to probably do quite a few raids and i want to take advantage of that that's really important to me to be able to do because that's going to help us if we can get on a revenge raid cycle and essentially do a raid every day um sky's the limit sky will be the limit for our supplies we'll be able to get guns we'll be get a whole bunch of supplies we need to we'll probably be able to hopefully stumble on like a whole bunch of oak and then from that point i mean it's just we're just cruising at that point we're just literally cruising 
Um, so I want to get there. I want to be prepared. It's still going to take me a while, and I'm still going to... I'm still going to farm the other resources. That's the other thing. I, I have really been enjoying farming that location um, and getting sand and what we need for glass and all that stuff. It's been... It's just honestly been fun. That location is fun to play. You get a unique mix of enemies. You get some really good resources. We've been able to stock up a ton on regular pine. We've been able to stock up on a whole bunch of quartz, which are again we're making into we're making into glass at the moment. We need a whole bunch of glass for uh the van actually. We need glass for the watchtower. I want to get the watchtower opened up. So we can progress there, have another location, go to Dead Island. I'm not really too, not really too stressed about going to Dead Island, but um, it's kind of where we're at. So, all right, all those things being said, I'm going to put this away in here too. We are ready to rock and roll. Let's jump in. We've cleared everything. I didn't grab all the crates. That's okay. I'm going to throw, nah, I think we can work this. Maybe I grab my other set of armor. Grab the other set of armor here. We can pause this at any time, so this isn't a big deal. If you don't do this, I, I understand why people don't do waves all the time. That's totally fine. Um, if you don't have the supplies to do the waves, don't feel pressure to do the waves. Because you're going to end up spending a lot of supplies. If you can't do it with grenade launchers, or you can't do it with grenades, or you can't do it with mines, it's probably really not worth it. Um, but this is the best time to do it if you can afford it. So we need to survive 10 waves, which isn't going to be so bad. Hopefully we get a couple of cards. I'd like to an extra green card. That'd be cool. Get super lucky, get a blue. That's pretty doubtful. But we should pick up some cards, so that's not bad. We're going to use some minimal supplies here. We should be able to do most of these. Probably first five waves with melee. Probably sacrifice some armor, which is okay. That's what we brought it for. Knock this out. Smack the zombies. Turn the music up a little bit. But not too distracting. Oh, all right. To our new set of armor. Try to chop these guys down a little bit. This and swap back. Use our crowbars as best we can. Got an explosive zombie. And my most hated. God, I hate these guys. The riot zombie. Ooh, we level. I did not even see we we're going to level up there. Pretty dope. We'll dodge this guy. And we'll bop this dude. Good night. Level up. What do we got? Mm. Nine less when breaking furniture. Seems good. One thing, uh, I've probably talked about this in the past, but it's worthwhile to mention again. I do think it's important as you're leveling up, and this applies early too. As you're leveling up, keep an eye on the skills that you're doing. And if you can ever complete a skill... Think of it this way it takes you out it takes that skill out of the rotation of what you can get and that might not seem like a big deal and a lot of the skills have multiple multiple levels some five some ten um that can be a game changer for you to be honest with you and it can make it so that some of the other skills pop up a little bit more frequently and so i do try to focus on that and just try to complete skill lines if that makes sense so let's take a look at this passage really quick so burglar is a good example it has three levels right so if you pick levels one and two if you get to the third level and you pick it it removes this from what you'll see from your three options at some point eventually you'll get them all that's fine uh but things like medic and some of these other things that show up more consistently granted these have 10 so like you know you have to click them a lot but like this one careful i'm gonna try to finish careful not that it really matters but i don't think i've never seen that's not true i've seen lungs of steel it's not that important um but copper miner like 
we're gonna start hitting some of these really really consistently quiet gunner is another one you know we've picked it once neat freak is another one i haven't seen neat freak very often uh the cool part here is we're at level 184 and we have all of the top end skills which is pretty good i'm happy about that let's grab a shoddy here it's just a little little side tip with doc i probably talked about before but honestly don't remember i love having these pistols with this mod on them so good this really is probably the most game one of the most game changing mods in my opinion uh, that we can pick up all right one more shoddy one more heal this will be level 10 wave 10 Let's get this explosive guy. He's gonna pop himself. We just run the fatties around. The big fatties. Lost my pistola. It's all right. Just don't want to get hit by this guy. Come on, shotgun fire. There we go. Close them down. Close them down. A couple of pumps here. All right, this is our last chance for green. And we do it. Because we finished it. Yay! Let's go. Still get a couple out of this. That's not bad. And, ah, dang it. Unfortunato. It's pretty low. It's pretty low chance that you'll end up picking that up. I'm not surprised by that. But I'm going to pause this. That was enough. How did we do? We killed 40 zombies. So likely we would have to stand another quite a few waves. And we didn't get anywhere near 95,000 damage is essentially all the waves. It's not every single wave, but it's pretty close to all the waves. Just wanna, I don't know why. I wanted to make sure there was nothing in there. All right, let's gra grab and start opening these up. We're going to pop all these. Grab what we can out of here. And then... To the hub of the transport, we will go. But before we do that, we will, of course, grab some green cards. We'll grab some things. Grab some grab some weapons, some armor. Grab a few materials as well. Kind of nice. I like saving these keys up just to hit all of these. Just so that we're guaranteed to find the good one. This guy got up. That's why we were prepared with our crowbar. Suck crowbar, friend. I guess he's not really our friend. There it is. That's a nice one. That's a goodie. That's a goodie right there. We're going to open this one just for the giggles of it. And we have enough to do all of those again, I think, for the next go around. Grab some materials. All righty then. Let's. Put some things away. But like, not that. Put this away, that away. Keep the rest of this. We got 42 cards. That's pretty good. We had nine coming in. I really want this and this for sure. I do want this too. I'm trying to grab a few things that we'll use. Throw in the chopper here. Oh, I could have used the vending machine. I want to consolidate down as well. We'll throw all that in there. We might get some more steel plates. Let's first and foremost, let's just do some trades. Honestly, I'm just going to trade these down. We got four green cards. That's pretty good. I can do all four. There's no reason not to do all four. Let's do it. Four green cards. Four green boxes. What do we got? Small ammo. Already got it. And okay. 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 Ooh, oh, with this and this, we almost have a full set of extra SWAT armor. And we got a machete. Ooh, mechanical sight. Nice. And skull crusher. Beautiful. Reinforced handguard we already have. And shoddy. Beautiful. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, we got, we got pants. Oh, we got a top. What do we got? And an AK. And another pipe. I'm fine with that. We got some aluminum. I think all aluminum, yeah? Yeah, that's okay. We got one new weapon mod. That's pretty good. 
I can't complain about that too badly. Uh, I need a top here because I need a second set of armor. That's going to be it right there. The only one unfortunate part about this location is we're going to have to do a lot of running back and forth. <laughs> we're going to do a lot of running back and forth to pick up all these boxes. But that's a good problem to have. That means lots of loot for us. All right. Let's take the important stuff here. It's really not the important stuff. Honestly, I can consolidate later. I do want to grab the heels, though. I'm going to take the heels with me to the T-Hub. Yeah, well, I want that battery. The second recycler would also be a huge, huge bonus. Um, I'm finding we just, we're like trying to grind through some of the electronic components, which, you know, again, isn't a bad thing, but it's, whew, it's a grind. It's a grind. I can only get like six or seven flashlights done in any setting there's another diary it's pretty solid i didn't even notice that one you can only get like six or seven flashlights done in a setting um which just means our recycler isn't constantly doing stuff and uh you know you can't sit on it he's saying you can't we got three springs out of this i was hoping for a little bit more but all right we're in pretty good shape here Armor's a little rough. One crowbar, one machete. Got some guns. I'm gonna see what we can get done here with being smart. I don't have enough melee weapons. Don't wanna run home though. Cause we're so close. We're so, so close. Let's just see what we can get complete here. Um, what am I hoping for? Hoping for, honestly. I'm hoping for the settlement crate. I need iron sheets. That would open up the bridge. The bridge will allow us to get the drone bench and allows access to drone parts and i want that all right try to make the best use of sneak here as we can this isn't going to insta kill this guy so our thing isn't strong enough i'm gonna try to get some chops in here Hit him with the tendon rip so he's a little slower. Okay. Now. Smack this guy. Take care of this guy. It's pretty clean. Pretty clean so far. Taking some shots. Kill this guy, please. Thank you. All right. Yeah, see, here's the thing. I would like to do more of this with melee. Than I have. I'm going to be down to just the crowbar here in a minute. Try to clear out some of these side zombies that can sometimes be hanging out like this guy. There's more. All right. We break from this. Whenever we get multiples of these guys, for some reason, there's one thing I've noticed about Transport Hub is you can't, you have to be somewhat selective with how essentially you attack and how often you can get your sneak attacks in. Now, there's some dormant, I call them dormant zombies. Those are zombies that are like, Sitting against something, not moving, that look like they're dead, but aren't really dead, that you know aren't dead. Why did this guy just stand up right here? I have never seen that in my life. But see, for some reason, it attracts the rest of these, and I don't... 
I really don't understand why I'm going to ha just have to brute this. I don't know why it does that. I don't know why these fast routers are so attracted from such a great distance. It's like toxic spitter range. And I don't, I really don't, I don't know why. I wish it, I, this, the one thing about this location that I wish we didn't have to deal with. Yeah, see, here's the thing. I just don't like having, we can do a lot of this with just regular melee weapons. I got a katana, that's fine. The, uh, crowbar ain't gonna hold up here we're gonna take some damage need to do that now see this i don't have a problem with because i knew there was two here they can basically see uh good with that i wish i had some of the machetes that we had from the pd but i don't also wish i would have brought some more food pretty good use of the food though i would say these guys all down now here we go look at this burglar level three look at what it gets us nice it actually gives gives me a katana look at that though so here's the thing i just want to talk about this right here is so good we get some springs we get four springs which is amazing three glass i have been working my booty off for some glass and uh we just pop up three of them beautiful transport hub I know it not it's not what it used to be but it is still very solid and this is going to be big things that we need to get some more progression so i'm really happy about that i wish i would have taken the springs it's all right yeah let's see what else we got here There's probably some other crit sneak crits we can get I like having these katanas good damage here Go into sneak mode here. All right, we got nothing else but this dormant zombie. Got him. Nice. All right. I always use these outside two uh, crates as what I like to call storage. I, they're my consolidation crates. I don't need this. It's fine, too. I grab everything from this one so i think there's two strategies here uh when taking down the transport hub the first strategy is go in and clear everything clear all the zombies before trying to fight the boss that's a reasonable strategy there's nothing bad with that strategy by any means uh the other strategy that i like to employ is um I actually just like to go in and clear this first, kill the boss, and then we can take care of the rest. Oh, we do single shot these guys. That's huge, actually. Can I get in and hit this guy without that guy seeing me? No. That's fine. I'm gonna crit this dude. Run, hit him. These guys at bay. Pistol him. Swing him around this. Boom, 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 boom. Get away from me, get away from me, get away from me. You're dead! Woo! Nice. Nice. Let's put this here. Well, that seems fine. That's pretty good. In fact, I, c I couldn't remember if I could crit these guys or not. I went a little bit out on a limb there. These guys I can crit with this saw blade mace. He stands up, don't worry. We can still chop his head off. This guy he gets close enough. If you're in sneak mode, you can still chop his head off. Careful not to go too far. Get in the range of this guy. You can sneak mode this guy. Chop his head off. You got a lot of chops. You got a lot of heads. I'm gonna throw this on. Can get these guys one at a time these midshipmen will heal sailors will heal just like the police zombies the big boys all right nicely done we're ready for a boss fight 
We are ready to get into a boss battle. Put this on and this on. Actually, this and this. Okay, so sometimes... So right now, here's what I can tell you. You see the very edge of this. You see the very back of this. You see how there's a little crate popping up? I know that there will not be a boss in this crate. So I can confidently open this 100%. There's no boss. There's the pale zombies. This is the best crate. This is the echo crate. This thing is amazing. It's gonna have some fantastic stuff in it for us. Just so you wait and see. Boom. Car battery. High tech components. I need these actually. This is huge for us. Here's why. This is gonna let me do seaweed farm. I just need two high tech sensors. That's it. That is all I need, actually. I needed three. I think it takes six. I have three in my inventory. Boom. Monstrous. Monster us. And we get some fiberglass. Woo. What a good crate. So you can tell. You always can look on this one. It will sometimes pop up the side over here. This one's probably the hardest one to tell. I think it's usually hidden but i also know if i pop this one open because of the jailbird here uh, i can see that enemy from moving to the side of it so that means i know where the boss is i'm hoping we get the butcher we'll see we might get the miner again that would uh potentially be our luck i'm gonna drop this here i'm gonna use up the pistol let's go ahead I'm gonna drop some things here in the uh the chapa. In case we end up dying. What would I rather have back at the base? This and this actually. Nope. Probably the glass. Let's just be honest. Glass is more important. That's awesome. That is a huge crate. That's what I'm talking about. That's so good. Finding a car battery there is so, so so good cannot overemphasize how good it is i know i'm i'm selling it here to you you're like doc we know we know car batteries are good okay i know sorry excited about that i want this but let's store all the things in here that we can all right and i want the glass now we get the crate we get the construction crate or the settlement crates. Then, uh, you know, that'd be pretty good. Pretty good. Good. I do want to also keep working on the settlement as of course. Settlement's a lot more passive, uh, but I want to keep working on the settlement, trying to get some progress there. Not only for the daily rewards, uh, but I do want to try to get the forklift finished eventually. And that's pretty sizable pretty sizable challenge here for us to try to do all right we got some jailbirds about to come at us we could probably melee these guys honestly i don't see a reason why we can't melee them if it gets a little crazy we got our m16 for backup we just did the pd so that's kind of cool you did all right yeah for us so sometimes you get this crate. Sometimes you get a thing. Sometimes you don't get a thing. I've been noticing that. Like, I feel like this should have given me some, I don't know, like a jail cell key or, I don't know, something. Something. Anything would have been nice. All right. Going big time here. Let's do this first. Am I ready for this? I have everything I need. I think I have enough armor. I think I have enough weapons. And I think I have enough heals. That puts us in a good spot. We got our drone. Our drone's going to help us out. Let's go ahead and make one more of these. I'm actually going to make this. Put this away. All right. I feel pretty good. We can slow him down. We can swap into a different gun. We can flip flop back and forth. We'll see who we get. Get the butcher. See if we get the miner. Butcher. All right. Honestly, the better of the two. 
We learned our lesson this last time. Slow you down. Come on in, drone. Come help me out. Some shots in. For the damage. I'm gonna AK ya. As I can. Suck AK. Make this fight go easy. Dude, this thing is tearing him up. Woo! Oh, I should have said, we have a firearms damage buff from the healer. If you're like, why are you doing so much damage? Why are you getting so much extra damage? That's why. Just FYI. All right, drone, come on in. Help me out here. A little bit of damage on this guy. He's going to go to heal here in a minute. There he goes. And I'm going to let him go heal. And when he runs back here, I'm going to shoot him. I'm going to slow him down. Then I'm not going to get hit. Get hit again. Or run at us again. We'll go to heal again. I'm not doing that rigmarole. Like, okay, come on, guy. Where are you at? We can avoid that. What I like to do is get him close here. Pop him. Let the drone come in. This lets the drone focus on him. Pop him with the pistol a bit. Hit him with this. Get our AK back on. Let the AK do the work. Try to confuse him. Slow him down. Dodge him around this thing. I don't know if our AK is going to finish him. It's going to be close. Drone's helping me out. We got one more drone charge. I might actually not use because I want to be able to unequip the drone. Ah! That was close. I'm going to bring this down to one shot. Two shots. Slow him. Think we can do this with the shotgun? <sighs> Maybe not the right plan. Don't need many more hits though. We got it. We're good. Stop it. Stop it. Get frozen. Because they clip on these the sides of this. This is why this strategy works. It's almost just like clipping them on a wall. Boom. Got him. Pretty easy. Pretty easy. Not bad. Not bad. Butcher, much easier. Miner, same things. You're going to use more heals, though, because you are going to get hit. There is a lot that you will not get hit by, which is pretty good. Uh, but Butcher is definitely the easier of the two. Now, you might be asking, Doc, why did you save the drone charge? I saved the drone charge because I want to be able to unequip this to use other weapons as we go in to clear the rest of this, okay? That part is important because if you use the last drone charge and you haven't hit the packages, if you take this off, I don't believe you can re-equip it. So do keep that in mind. Um, now that I'm saying all that out loud, I, I'm still pretty sure I'm, I'm right. <laughs> uh, but just best practice, all right? So we're gonna keep one drone charge with us. We can use the drone charge that's totally fine. You can do that if you want to do that. But we have some things to clear here. And uh, I want to have the option to use different guns if needed. I'm going to dance these guys around. The truck is good. The truck, they'll clip on the edges here. You can dodge using the corners. Wait for them to come try to hit you. Stick close to the truck. And you can pop them. Pretty easy. Pretty easy for the most part. You can't sneak past this guy, by the way. I just like shooting him. You can also run this. Oops, if I didn't open the door, you could run around that.
And you can just kite this guy around. The big fatties, pretty easy. All right, smashers. This is where we're going to take some damage here. We always do. What I'm trying to avoid is not necessarily these guys. I'm trying to avoid this toxic spitter. Yep, got hit, which slows us down, which isn't great. Dodge it. There we go. guy doesn't uh, scare me too much I just don't want to lose my armor actually I think if it hits me yeah, I'm gonna be good punch the old punch attack take that you dang zombie <laughs> he did his which is not great I'm a little sad about that our armor took a whoop in there um, all right we can melee the next guy Uh, we'll Uzi these other guys. I don't think our armor holds up here. It's going to be the only challenge we have. Should be able to get most of this done, though. Take these. I'm going to need this first. You don't have to shoot these next guys, these spitters, but uh, it's definitely recommended to take less damage overall. You usually should be able to range these guys out a bit too. Like this guy, we can range. He won't even get a spit in. This guy will attack us. He'll get one heal there. This guy didn't get triggered. He's going to get a spit in. He got a spit in. Unfortunate, but okay. All right. Now we need to put the drone. Okay, I think. Yeah, so you have to equip the drone. Use the katana for the next one. All right, we got the med crate. Just not a bad crate. Just not what we're looking for. This is the one. This might be it. Is this the one? This might be the vehicle one. I don't remember. That's not ideal. It's not particularly what we're looking for. But either way, we'll get some good stuff. What do we got here? We just need, this is it, iron sheets. We are eight iron sheets away from getting this done. It's not a lot. I can't make iron sheets though, so I'm gonna have to rely on these crates purely to get that complete. Run down here. Just katana this guy. Could punch this guy if we really wanted to take the time to do that. Boom. How does it feel to be headless? Sorry. All right. Now, this is the part where we're going to lose our armor, potentially. Oh, and these guys are right here, too. So here's what happens. This is another important thing to just kind of pay attention to. Also, we're looking for a crate. Uh, we're going to get the military crate or police crate right there. So pay attention to where this little... Uh, you know, I don't, I don't know what this thing is called. It's like one of the cocoons and where these guys are. As soon as we come down from here, these guys are instantly going to attack us. So what we can do is we can pop the door out. We can actually run out of here if we want to do that. Um, we can kite these guys around the thing. We just have to be prepared. I'm actually going to equip this in case we lose our armor. We also are probably going to get a spitter that's going to run at us. Um, so let me equip this. This one pistol should take care of it. Yeah, here comes the spitter. I'm just going to reset these guys. If I can. They open the gate. I was like, did I open the gate? I opened the gate. All right. The door is open now. We can reset these guys. Take them a little bit more at our leisure. We might be able to pull. I don't know if we can pull just one. We're going to try. Normally, I just like straight up fight these guys on our main account. I just, I just, you know, usually I'm a little bit better equipped with an extra set of armor before I come to do this. So keep that in mind. Um, we're good to go with this here. Now we got it on. We're ready to rock and roll. Actually, I'm going to drop some things here. 
drop that and that and this here. All right. I actually also wonder, I've never tried to. Now we're going to get all three at once. All right. So just get your shots in. You can't try to kite one at a time. The heal. We did. Oh, we got the toxic darter here. That's actually really good. And then we do get the parasites. Parasites, not a big deal. But you want to, if you're low on these Genesis weapons, you obviously want to try to handle it the way that I just did there, uh, where you're taking, you're using this weapon as least as possible. And I did. Okay, this worked out perfect. So we did end up getting them just one at a time. Take probably one hit from each. That's pretty good. And then this should be the last enemy right here. Sometimes you can catch them on those. You can also catch them around this. They are very fast, though. Keep that in mind. Yeah, and they'll still hit you through the box. Keep that in mind, too. That was nice, actually. That was pretty clean. Clean. That should be the last one. And we should be done. That's Transport Hub. Let me make sure there's not one more. I think there's only three. Two, three. I'm trying to remember. I do this location so often, but it's like auto mode. Look at that. Got some gun oil. We got a Glock. Got some copper bars. Woo! Woo! Don't step in the pools. They'll hurt you. If you come in here, don't forget this little crate. I might be saying, Doc. Doc. I might be saying, hey, Doc. I can remember my own name. Hey, Doc. Uh, why would you come in here if you don't want this crate? That's a good question. It's a good question random person that I'm pretending said that to me to make things up so I can talk to you about them. Um, why you'd want to come in here is because you get a couple of chests. And the chests can be pretty solid, as you have come to see. They could be pretty good with some good stuff in them. Be pretty good. So we got that one in there. You got this one over here. And then you're going to have the one crate that you can run up and grab. Actually, one in the corner here. And then one up on top. And the one up on top is the one that you really want. Look at all this stuff that we got to do. Titanium bars. I could actually do the titanium bars. It's going to be the rotors that we can't get. You got this one, and then you got this one up top. And we do have the extra crate that we can grab um, with our drone. So all in all, pretty good. And we didn't use a ton of weapon durability for this. The, uh, the pistols are very, 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 very useful in that regard. This is going to be a military crate. We might honestly consider taking that. This Genesis crate right here is really good, too. Dude, look at that. A drone battery. Gunpowder. Hydraulic parts. A couple of things for Bunker Bravo. That's not bad. All in all, that's pretty solid. We got a drone battery. That's really cool. That's how I've been able to get a stockpile of drone batteries on my main account. Yeah, that's going to take a while. That is gonna take a while. That's it. All right, let's go and uh, pop this thing open and see all what we got. Why is the turkey running all the way over there? I didn't mean to take all this stuff. That was an accident. We put anything else away here. Okay, we got that. I don't know, sure. Sure. We got it. We're going to have, we have a whole lot of running, walking back and forth to do, uh, to grab all this stuff. The other reason I consolidate to these two things is just the easiest crates to get to. That's just a me thing. If you don't want to do it. Don't do it. I don't really, I don't really care. It's, it's your life. You can run around and collect all the stuff if you want. That's totally fine. All right. Let's see what we got. Yeah. See, this one's really tough. Because I really don't, besides the ATV transmission, I don't need a ton from this crate. Some weapons, some armor, potentially some things there. This isn't super helpful for me. This will guarantee us to pick up some Colt Pythons. It actually has a pretty good amount of heals in it, but I just don't need the rest of this. This does have potentially have a few 
settlement components in it. I feel like this one's going to be the most beneficial for me. Let's take it. Let's gear up. Let's get some weapons. Blueprint, maybe? That'd be really dope. You know what, though? When we pause to think about this. A shotgun, double AK. This is a well-modified shotgun. This is how I would modify my shotgun if I was using this. Four grenades and a C4. Full set of armor. The backpack is the only thing I'm not like super thrilled about. But we get some hard mode items too. I'll take it. That's pretty solid. I can't be mad at this. This is pretty solid when you think about it. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Come back. We'll grab the extra set of armor. I think we had some gun oil already. We had some glue. The glue and the tape is like kind of weird, but things you would find in the bunker. The one thing I wish I would have got was some, uh, what do you call it? The sensors. That would have been really dope. That was not bad. No blueprint. That's no blueprint. I would have hoped for that. But other than that, pretty good. All right. What do we not need here that I want to make sure I take with me? This probably. We got a lot of stuff to grab. Fill this up. I, uh, I hope you enjoyed this. This was not intended to really be a tutorial on the uh, transport hub, but it kind of turned into tutorial, the transport hub. <laughs> um, again, not, not I did not really intend to do this, but that was a really, that was honestly a very, very clean run for us. We didn't use a ton of supplies. We made it through Blackport PD and the 10 waves and two sets of armor. I'm I'm good with that. Take this fiberglass, I guess. I don't know that we can get any upgrades going. 19 springs is also really good. Plus, we had some springs back at the, uh, what do you call it? I'm going to grab these instead. Not that any of this matters, because I'll definitely be running back here. Um, 19 springs is pretty good. That's going to help us. So grabbing that military crate was not a bad idea for us considering what it had in us. Plus, again, the hard mode items, that's pretty cool. And the C4, all solid thing. So we're going to walk back or run back and then walk back and do a whole bunch of stuff and grab a whole bunch of things. I hope you enjoyed this one. That was pretty cool. Uh, let me queue up this walk. I should also showcase, so we're at level 35. By doing both of those... Five full levels. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. We are halfway. We're officially halfway to this season reward being done. And uh, one more clearance under the books. On the books. For us here. Um, so, again, we got Big Hunt that we're going to be working through. We're going to try to go. We're going to try to knock these out. Get some assignments done. Grab some, grab some things here. Get some more keys. And uh, run around. Hit some locations. More grinding, trying to set our base up here for raids here in your future. More events coming up. Let's take a look at the events coming up. So obviously I'm hopeful still that we'll be seeing the new, you know, the new update here soonish. But we do have Gold Rush, don't care about that. But Bunker Alpha coming up here in a couple of days. So this is a great one. We'll probably cover this. You know I love to do this. And this is good season. Look at that, 13 what, 12, 13,000 points for season rewards? That's going to help us nicely on our season track here. That's a couple of levels here for us. So uh, we'll keep grinding and keep pushing towards getting the season pass complete as well. And uh, more to come. Enjoying free to play. I hope you're enjoying it with us, seeing us kind of go and complete some of these locations and uh, lots more to share here in the future. So wrapping it up, socials, like, comment, subscribe. Check out our playlist for, for free to play. Check out our Last Day on Earth playlist, as well as check out our Wasteland Survive Guide and a Raid Guide. I need to put some raids up, actually. I haven't done that in a little bit, so I apologize for that. I'm trying to build out all these different playlists just to have lots of good content for you that you can enjoy, in addition to a lot of good useful content for you as you're grinding through and getting your stuff done in the game. So thank you again so much for all the support, hanging out with me and being here, and uh, just clicking on the video, watching it. Likes and comments are fantastic. Hit that sub button. Trying to get to 10K by the end of the year. 
and we're halfway through so we need some help but we know we can do it takes everybody every one of you thank you again so much for all the support join our discord we've got a last day on our channel if you want to stay up to date with some news we got our twitter as well we're trying to post some things on that just whenever news comes up that's really what we use it for we repost any of the things that Last Day on Earth puts out there. So if you're interested in that, uh, we'll, we'll throw some takes up every once in a while. But we just kind of peruse that more for news than anything else, keep you up to date on some things. But our Discord is a great place. Chat with you there. Uh, showcase some cool raids or any any milestones that you get. We have a playlist or a channel, rather, just for Last Day on Earth that you can post some things in. So love to see you over there and grow our Discord. That'd be pretty cool, too. And check out our main channel. This is our extra channel. Check out our main channel. Give us a sub over there. We'd appreciate that. Click on some videos too. I don't know. You know. Just click on the videos. Just do it. Just do it. It helps. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm just jazzed up. That was good. Good uh, Good T-Hub run. Thanks for being here. Close it out. See you in the next one. Peace.